In this lecture, we'll learn about the Flexbox utilities. With these, you can quickly manage the layout, alignment and sizing of grid columns, navigation, components and more. Before we start, please notice the extra styling placed in the head tag, which will help us to better see the examples in this lecture. To work with Flexbox, we first need to create a Flexbox container which will turn the direct children elements into flex items. To do this, we can use the class dflex to create a normal flexbox container. Or dinlineflex to create an inline flexbox container. Let's see it in the browser. Let's now create some flex items inside the div. We can set the direction of flex items in four different ways by adding a class to the Flexbox container. The first class we will add is Flex Row. Let's duplicate the code and change the direction to Flex Row Reverse. Flex Column and flex column reverse. When we look at it in the browser, we can now clearly see the four different directions. Now let's have a look at how to justify the content. We'll start with the basic Flexbox container with some flex items inside. We can justify the content in five different ways by adding a class to the Flexbox container. The first class we'll add is justify content start. Let's duplicate the code and change it to justify content center, justify content end, justify content between and justify content around. When we look at it in the browser, we can now clearly see the five different ways to justify the content. Now it's time to look at how to align the items. We'll once again start with the basic Flexbox container with some flex items inside. We can align the items in five different ways by adding a class to the Flexbox container. The first class we'll add is Align Items Start. We'll duplicate the code and change it to Align Items Center, Align Items End, Align items baseline and align item stretch. When we look at it in the browser, we can clearly see the five different ways to align the items. Now we'll look at how to align individual flex items which is referred to as Align Self. We'll start with the basic Flexbox container with some flex items inside. We'll add the class example Align Self to the Flexbox container so that we can use some custom styling for these examples. We can align 
the individual flex items in five different ways by adding a class to the flex item and not the flexbox container. The first class we will add is align self start. We will duplicate the code and change the class to align self center. Align self end, align self baseline, and align self stretch. When we look at it in the browser, we can see the five different ways to align individual items. We can control the wrapping of flex items in three ways by adding a class to the Flexbox container. We will start with the basic Flexbox container with some flex items inside. We can set the flex items not to wrap using the class flex no wrap. We can set the flex items to wrap using the class flex wrap. And we can set the flex items to wrap in reverse order using the class flex wrap reverse. Let's have a look in the browser and see this in action. We can control the order of flex items independent of the source order. The order can be set in three different ways by adding a class to the flex item. We'll start with the basic flexbox container with some flex items inside. We can set the flex item to be the last item using the class flex last. We can set the flex item to be the first item using the class flex first. And we can set the flex item to be unordered using the class flex unordered. Let's have a look in the browser and see this in action. Finally, let's look at how we can align the content. We'll start with the basic Flexbox container with some flex items inside. We can align the content in six different ways by adding a class to the flex container. The first class we'll add is align content start. In order for this to make sense, we need to have a Flexbox container with flex items that wrap. As we have just learned, we can achieve this by adding the class FlexWrap to the Flexbox container. We will now duplicate this code and change the class name from before to Align Content Center, Align Content End, Align Content Between. Align content around and align content stretch. When we look at it in the browser, we can now see the six different ways to align the content. Responsive utility classes exists for all the Flexbox utilities in Bootstrap. Here we will just see some different examples of how the classes are written, but we won't create any real examples to see in the browser.
for display. For flex direction. For justify content. For align items. For align self. For flex wrap. For order. For align content. We have now learned how to use the Flexbox utilities to quickly manage layout, alignment and sizing. Go on and continue with the coding exercises which will help you learn the correct structure for this utility. In the next lecture we will learn about the image replacement utility.